the younger millennials and the older zoomers pretty much that age right. category um they have like basically modern women themselves are a nightmare and rather than get involved they, yeah. turn, to each, they turn to each other that's another thesis that's out there right um but anyway just to put a cap on to put a bow on the putting the woke away topic the reason that I do take Aaron's side of the bet really seriously. Is that obviously Aaron, before he joined the Blades, was a school teacher, and he was talking about how rife this stuff is in the under eighteen category, which obviously is not collected by the ONS because um, the case the under, stuff. I think it's that under sixteen is counted. Like they they just don't collect that data, right? Because it, it comes under crime pretty much, right? Yeah. Um, but he was talking about just how much, um, what a lack of norms that group of kids who are yet to be part of the kind of, they're not visible in the public yet, right? Because they don't really have a voice and we don't really see them. They're on TikTok. You can watch them there. Um, I mean, Warus, you probably know this this kind of yeah. thing better, better than the rest of us. But uh, so it's not right. They could put Woke away. But what about the intri- like? What if you have a generation of people who have intrinsic, kind of like I guess degenerate traits? Like, how do we deal with that? Because they're still going to be I alive. Don't know. I mean, the, the there's is, a couple you... of elements here. Uh, I mean, to, to to these people who who sort of grow up being taught to be gay in a sense, uh, or choose it as um, like in the way that people would be goth when I was in. <laughs> in like middle school uh, you're now like i'm trans or i'm, I'm non-binary right um some of them probably just you know turn 16 17 and forget about that stuff um other people might go on hormone blockers right and forever you know destroy their life mm. which is kind of depressing i, I, I can kind of see an aspect of, of this here because you know w- w- when we were young Get, getting laid was was basically the mechanism of self improvement. It's why you went to the gym and cut your hair. Yeah, but it's not about self improving or getting laid anymore. It's about having like the the correct because you're growing up in a world that basically places you into a um, an abstract online community, right? Which is like your even even this to a certain degree, right? Imagine if a Zoomer like grows up into the, the Twitter sphere that encompasses someone like UAA, right? Mm-hmm. That's all they know. That's their culture. That's their identity, right? They don't have anything else to live by. You're on the gay side of TikTok. You're on the book side of TikTok. You're on the movie side of TikTok. And the algorithm isn't going to let you out unless you, you know, unplug. Yes. Here's another dark thought: is that, of course, the whatever <laughs> satanic powers behind all of this um, realize that it's that they it's too difficult to change um, young children to be um, homosexually inclinated, but it's very easy to fuck them up so that they basically emasculate themselves, uh, and then they provided, of course. The mechanism for which uh, they can easily do that, and the pharmaceuticals to make it possible, and that's the whole point of the of the trans thing. You know, it's much easier to destroy young men and young women by pushing them into that than trying to get them to con- convert. Because I I still maintain that it's very rare. It's it, it's very rare for men who don't have that inclination to begin with to switch to uh, preferring males. They, they will always become some other sort of degenerate, but they will, they will ne- it is very rare to make, to make that switch, you know, unless there's whatever the conditions that cause it um, are there, the, are there in the first place. So, uh, but, but it's difficult to say because, because of course we're now in a situation where children are, exposed to hardcore pornography and even in some cases being led there by people in the education system you know and what sort of monster that is creating i'm afraid we're going to find out quite soon as these people yeah 
mature yeah. into their final horrible form. Yeah, and the, 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 and this is one of the reasons why um, I I know I do not dismiss anything that Aaron McIntyre says on this topic in particular lightly. Um, so, oh, what a depressing episode, I guess. So, so, so maybe, maybe, <laughs> just as a last thought on that, Theresa May was absolutely right to try and bring in wanking permits. Correct. I support Oh, it. yeah. Sure. Yeah. Ther- Theresa May, I've already got, like, Theresa May was actually conservative. <laughs> but, uh, you know, compared to, you, compared if, to the if, government we've got now, it was only like you have a few years ago. If you have a child, take every device that they own and smash it. Uh, right now, because even if you think you're controlling what they're seeing and what they're doing, you're probably not, uh, because there are people out there, and far more people than I realized, who are dedicated to polluting and destroying your children's brains with this shit. Uh, so 